it going? Yes. Hi. So, a month ago I recorded a video uh, of the tune Groundhog, which is a really simple, good starter tune in uh, the key of C, double, in a double C tuning, and today I'm going to show you how to play it in G. So if you want to play it in G or A, you can play it using this tuning, or this tuning you can't go it up two frets with your fifth string up to A. Okay. It's just as simple in this tuning as it is in C, and you're going to need to know how to play a D7 chord, which is your five chord. So that's here and here. Okay. or sung a whole bunch of lyrics on the other video, so you can listen to that. So here we go. It's really simple. So it's a bum diddy on the third string. Bum. We're in G tuning. Bum diddy, bum diddy. So bum diddy, bum diddy, and then open third string again, and this time open fourth string. Bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy. Okay, and then first string. Bum seventh chord and hit your third string. Bum, so that's and now um, your open second string. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. You can make your D7 chord there in case you miss. That's a good idea. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. Now open third and then hit your fourth with the third fret and then your open fourth. Diddy. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. line is open second string bum, diddy. and now use your index finger to pull off at the first fret on the second string pull off. and then that's just it's pull off bum, da, 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 bum, diddy, bum, diddy. and then you're ready to start the tune again which will also start with a bum ditty so it's like you're playing three in a row but don't think of them that way it ends with two bum ditties and then it starts with a bum ditty that are all open bum, bum ditties on the thir on the third string. Um, eat the meat, save the hide. Eat the meat, save the hide. Makes the best shoestrings ever were tied. Oh, groundhog. And we talked about some ways in which when you're uh, to spruce this up a little bit, if you're when you're rolling over into the next time through. So that's a little bit of a slide um, on that last bum ditty. So it's uh, from the third, from the third to the fourth string, and then you're ready to go. Your th open third string. Bum ditty, bum. it up if you wanted. Bum diddy, bum diddy, hammer on diddy, bum diddy. That's a really counterintuitive hammer on place for some people. Because you're hitting the third string, but you're hammering on the fourth string. Hammer on diddy, bum diddy, hammer on diddy, bum diddy. Usually, I mean often, you hit a string and then you hammer it on. But you will find lots of, of examples in years ahead of hitting one string and hammering on 
a different string, and that's fine. You should be able to make noise by your hammer on whether you just struck the string or not. So that's it. There's your groundhog in G.